The sea is Earth's most enduring and dominant feature, a living, breathing swirl of molecules teeming with life, which is all at once endless and fleeting. From this abyss sprung every type of living creature, leviathan, crack, and sea turtles. Even the human race traces its origins back to the ocean. It is no wonder then that people are continually drawn to it, their terrestrial limbs moving toward the shoreline as they gaze over the whirling surf in wonderment. What mysteries are hidden out there, over the horizon? The sea has always been cruel and unforgiving. As humanity stepped off of land and set sail on the open water, people adapted to nature's harsh demands. While greed and warfare would fall on this journey, so would compassion, courage, and imagination. Eventually, nations divided the earth up by lines and claimed parts of the ocean as their own. And though they sought to conquer the sea, it yielded to no one. To make sense of their experiences, early sailors embraced myths and songs about Davy Jones, the Flying Dutchman, and the Fiddler's Green. To prevent bad luck on their voyages, they developed superstitions like aversions for bananas and whistling, but embraced the good omens of cats, seabirds, and dolphins. From a nascent nation still reeling from revolution came the Revenue Marine, ten cutters and courageous crews who plied along the coast of a fledgling nation, extending the ideas of liberty and justice beyond the shores to the unruly seas. Pirates, smugglers, and poachers would all be brought to heel under the cutters' wind whip banners an enduring symbol of our national sovereignty. Whether in wartime or peace, they worked ceaselessly to defend the people, property, and resources of the United States. Each new conflict and continued expansion of territory pulled the Cutters and their crews further away from home. Sails gave way to steam, the steel beams took the place of timber. Following in the wake of the intrepid early pioneers of the Revenue Cutter Service came the U.S. Coast Guard Cutterman of the last century. Marked with tattoos and tea stained by a steady diet of coffee and tobacco, they drew on the legacy of their predecessors. These true heirs of King Neptune stood shoulder to shoulder with great naval powers and fought with courage and tenacity to protect the free world from tyranny. Some of them would survive only in memory, but their shipmates, those who they fought and died for, returned to tell the sea stories of their fallen crew members. Tales of breezy exotic islands and daring high seas exploits inspired the next generation of cuttermen. From the trusty shellbacks, they learned to play the soft melodies of the bosun's pipe and how to tie bowlings, sheep bends, and clove hitches. New crews navigated the vast open ocean using the stars, then radio waves, and later by a new constellation of artificial satellites. They endured the noise and heat of mammoth diesel engines to keep the screws turning and the lights burning brightly. They launched boats and aircraft on daring rescue missions and fought wars on drugs and terror. They ate chicken, lots of chicken, tacos, pizza, slanted cake with extra frosting on one side, and yes, even more chicken. While these cuttermen were on patrol, the loved ones at home continued on with their daily lives as holidays, birthdays, weddings, and funerals came and went. Babies took their first steps and children hit home runs at t-ball games. Moments lost in time for those unable to be there. One day, some of these young men and women may choose to adopt the values of honor, respect, and devotion and duty and leave the comfort of home to take to the seas. These precious few will witness the splendor of moonless nights and star-filled skies, the majesty of the raging seas and the creatures in its depths and all the wonders known to those who went before them. The challenges they will face are many, and the cuttermen of today, in the twilight of their last watches, will leave to them the ingenuity and resolve that is our seagoing legacy.